Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial from LearnEnroute.com and in this series of videos we're talking about the pre-release version of Enroute Fabrication and some of the new and upcoming features that we're going to be adding to the program and in general. And uh, in this particular clip I want to talk about remnants and, and this is a common issue that uh, again we've been getting a lot of feedback from our end users on and we've come up with a pretty nice solution for this and, and basically what remnants are is once you've nested a sheet a lot of times you don't use up the entire sheet of material so what do you do you know you can't en route the plates gotta be square and there's no real way to keep track of all this stuff well with the new remnant tool we can not only use the remnant but we can create it automatically from a nested sheet so let me show you how this works and I find that it's going to be a very handy tool uh, coming up here in the future so again we've, we're starting just with some basic objects here nothing too fancy I want to grab them before I go into my nesting tool and I'm gonna to go to my nester now uh, what the option that we want to talk about here is create remnant I've covered these in the other videos and and uh, the create remnant is the critical one for this particular video so let's just do a couple things here and I'm just gonna grab the uh, all parts and just say I'm gonna make two of all of these leave everything set up like this and click apply so you see it's nested the two parts down in the bottom left hand corner but now you notice that I've got uh, a remnant so it's it's basically created a closed geometry from the part of the plate that's been left over now that's pretty nifty and that was kind of easy to do if you understood how to draw an end route it was pretty easy to do cutoff lines and things uh, when you're nesting sheets but the the nice powerful feature of remnants now is I can go up here and actually turn that remnant into a plate so if I click on that button notice it's turned red and that's indicating that this remnant has now become a plate so if I grab my uh, my three parts over here go to the nester again and um, actually that parts kind of big so let's cancel out of this I'm just gonna grab those two parts there I go back into my nester and this time let's say uh, give me two of those three of those at priority five and let's make uh, I don't know oops didn't know I could get a negative quantity there that's interesting again pre-release version I'm sure that'll be uh, changed by the time it gets in your hand so I'm gonna say seven of those at priority one and this time instead of packing it to the bottom left hand corner which would be kinda of hard for it to calculate I'm gonna tell it to pack to the upper left hand corner so when the nest comes out since I told it I want these to be priority one I'm gonna have my seven there and then my uh, extra ones of the other part so let's click apply and you can see since I gave this part uh, priority one and I wanted seven of them it nested those first and there wasn't enough room to nest this other piece in here uh, but again I left remnant create remnant on again so now I've got this another odd little shaped piece but I could uh, come back and add more of these so I'm going to turn that into a plate let's grab just that part there go to the nester and uh, I don't know let's let's add six more of those see what happens and this time well we'll pack to that corner first click apply and one two three four five six it fit them in there so the remnant tool is going to be real handy for using those scraps of materials and uh, utilizing them to further produce a better yield out of your jobs as usual I hope this helps